What's up, Rippers and Flippers? We're back at you again with another Bowman Mega Box opening. <sighs> Guys, it's been a long day already. Like, we're in a double header, or sorry, not a double header, but a tournament in soccer and a tournament in baseball. And I had to find a little bit of time to rip. Um,. These are a couple of the more decent um, megas that we hit in the last opening. Nothing too special, nothing with color, but let's hope that we can do a little something better with these. Well, let's get into it, guys. Let's try to rip these packs. Yeah, guys, we've been going nonstop. Like, it's crazy. Like, my boy is so tired, but he had such a great baseball game today. <clears throat> he closed out the last two innings with um, six outs. Um, I think he had two strikeouts. He had a pop fly hit to him. Um, the last out of the game, so he made the last out to shut it down to get the win. Um, all, our one of our boys, Braden, hit uh, his the first home run of the season for us. I mean, this was actually a home run over the fence, so it's the first time it's happened with this group of boys, um, which was a pretty cool moment for the whole team. Um, but what's crazy, guys, is that, sorry about that, we had um, my son, another boy, two other kids have hits that were just so close to going over, guys. Like, my son, ground roll double, another guy, ground roll double. These are like balls that are barely bouncing right before the fence and then bouncing out. So, it was amazing and yeah, um, it was a great all-around game. I love our team. I love our baseball family that we have with these these other parents. And it's just super fun. We love it. It's our lives now. So um, <clears throat> that was cool. We got to go back in the morning for uh, for a game at 9 o'clock for baseball. We win, we will play, I think, at three. But we're actually into the part of the tournament where it's like do or die. It's like win and move on or lose and go home. So hopefully we can keep pushing on with this nice little win. Hope everybody out there is doing good. You guys are starting to enjoy the the summer doing plenty of ripping hopefully all you guys are too you know that won't stop Let's see what we can hit in this one guys if anything like i said you're not going to get a lot i don't think color wise in these and i don't even know to be honest with you if there is color There's a wander. Has potential to be a decent card one day. This is graded. Some 10s. Won't be too pricey, I don't think, but it will still be a card that people want. Yeah, it's not looking like you get much of any like parallels or how to look. this out real quick guys let me make one of these packs like yeah there's no odds like i wonder since there's no odds in the pack i'm what is now are these odds are going to be for just mojos or Number 28, 32, 36, 47. 
I wonder if uh, you can, if maybe the odds are just worse in these for that. Well, let's open this next stack and see. Let's see if we can't pull a parallel of some sort. And then we'll know. Oops, dang it. So a little bit more space here. So yeah, guys, we're gonna, um, is that right? I'm tripping, guys. Like, it can't be all the packs. Did I open too many last time? Probably so. Four 10 card packs. So I must have ripped an extra one last time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So yeah. Eight. Four. That's right. That's right, guys. I'm going a little slow today. Just wanted to make sure that was right because I mean sometimes tops will let's see what's this. First of this, it don't look very good. Not even hitting any of the big names. Maybe that means we have some decent mojo packs. Or maybe it does not. <laughs> okay, well, yeah, that wasn't much. We'll do these babies one at a time. So we can maybe hit a little bit of color. This is what it's about. Like, it's going to be really hard to pull parallels out of those. I'm, I see people holding onto those. And maybe just selling the regular packs just to pay themselves back a little bit. Okay, we got the Marcel Meyer, which is a nice one. Oh, we got an auto. Yes, baby. Let's go. Acuna. Auto. But wait, wait a minute, guys. I'm sorry, but let's take a look at this card. Look how off-centered that is. Look at that. You can't see it in this one, guys, but you can see the line where the next card starts. Like, let me set these down for a second. This was the last box, or this was in the last box, these four cards I noticed. Guys, take a look at these. Look at that. Look how badly those are miscut. There's another whole piece of a, of the next card on all four of those. Look at this top to bottom on the back. <laughs> wow. Okay, let's, let's get on with it. I just wanted to show you guys that. It's quality controlling the greatest, but yes, we'll take that. Set that down right there. We'll get it saved up in a minute. Got a first. It's the last card of this. Jimenez. Right. So that's not too bad. That Meyer's pretty off centered. Really off centered, too. We'll sleep that one. Definitely will sleep this one. And this one actually looks very centered. It's nice. So that is not numbered, but it's still a auto, guys. So what did we say the first video um, with that? 
Uh, what's the odds of the auto? Um, a mega box auto is one in every 15, and I'm assuming that's packs. And that's of Mojo, so eight boxes, really, to get an auto, something like that. Okay, second pack. Let's see if this one will be fire, too. Let's get some just crazy hits out of these guys. Come on, let's go. Okay, we got a first. Nice. I'm going to take that. Cabrera first all day. There's another, another miscut. Dang, man. Dang, are all these miscut? Is this Cabrera miscut too? Wow, man. Look at that. That is horrible. Top to bottom is bad too. Okay, last card. Got some first. These got back in line, it looks like a little bit. So take a look at that, guys. Just just know like when you're buying these off of eBay or whatever, like a lot of times you can't tell if a card is centered. Ask to see the back of the card because do you see like from top to bottom to compare or I'm sorry, side to side? Those are centered pretty perfectly, even top to bottom they are. But then when you look at these in the front, you gotta check this spacing on the right. You gotta check, look at that, guys. Look at that spacing. That's what it's supposed to look like if you wanna try to gem up a card when you're buying them. Don't buy these because you're not gonna be able to tell. So. Yeah, some nice ones there, except for those miscut. Okay, third pack, come on. Let's hit another auto, that'd be crazy. Right, we got a Henry Davis. Don't look like anything. Cars look centered better. It's a nice first. Couple firsts at the end of that one. Okay, last pack. Some last pack magic going. Something. Some hit. Let's hit something, guys. Kind of feels thick. Let's look. We got something. We got something, guys. Come on. Okay, let's card after this. So we got like a teal, it looks like, something like that. Okay, we got a Blaze Jordan in the back. Behind that, we got a Maximo Acosta. Okay, let's see what we got. Can we go with a bang? Do we got a first? Got a first. We have an auto? Nope. Number to 225. Bobby Martin Jr. first, 230th overall. Take a hit. So not too bad, not too bad. These cards are pretty thick. You almost have to go up to the next. So guys, two nice hits out of those two boxes. I will take it. A couple good firsts as well. So guys, we're still ripping Bowman. They're just probably going to be Megas now. Appreciate you guys as always. Please like, subscribe, and share. Continue to watch. We appreciate your, your support. Please go back and watch some of the older videos, especially the, the giveaway video. We have announced the winners of those packs. 
So, yeah, guys, we appreciate you. Thank you. Deuces.